one virtue that guarantees absolute glory experience. One of the virtues that the Lord would have you return to today is what I call vision. No glory has ever been obtained on the altar of chance or luck or wish. No glory has ever been obtained either former dimension or latter glory on the altar of chance, luck or wishes. It's a deliberate act that you on your own decide that this is what I want. And in the first quarter of the year, which is January, people begin with what we call vision. Goal setting. Resolutions. And all that. And those who are wise and who have understood the act of goal setting will understand that you don't just set goal and make resolutions in the first day of the, of the, of the year. Which is the beginning of the first quarter. Hallelujah. And then you leave it like that until October, November. No, you'll be shocked and be disappointed at the fact that you have not been able to achieve certain things or you forget certain things you even made as a resolution. So what do you do? You divide it into, into reasonable levels. Any man and woman you see that does not understand the different quarters of the year, they are like people playing football in a field without a goalpost. No victor, no vanquish. You will never know when you score and you never know when they score against you. I want to bring you therefore because I know a lot of things has happened in the last eight months. But this remaining four months, what you missed and what you lost in the last four months, God said I should prepare you. You must get back what you lost. Yes. Glory to God. I said glory to God. How can I get what I did not get before? The scripture began to explain to us there in the book of Job 20, 22 verse 23. If thou shalt return, you can't return without coming to your senses. You can't return if you don't know you are far. The greatest and worst thing that can happen to a child of God is to suppose you are in order. Is to suppose that you are on track. Is to suppose or assume that you are on track. When in the realm of the spirit, according to the calendar of the spirit, you are behind. I don't like it when Christians are just spiritually minded and they are utterly useless. There is a place for the spiritual dimension. There is also a place for the physical dimension because God himself put you here for a reason. Labando Sefarante, it does not matter who you are, you can't fly without vision. From where you are, which means there is somebody I'm talking to today, it does not matter what has happened this year. From where you are now, refuse to give up. Refuse to lose hope. Refuse to be discouraged. Refuse to approach the future with fear. You are not to be pitied. You are to be envied. All you need is to return to what? To your vision. When he said, lift up your eyes, this is Papa God. He can't teach you and you'll be a loser. There are levels you come to in this life. You don't need to be a gentleman. We have told them we are brethren. The scripture said, and Abraham told Lot, do what pleases you. Lot, Lot swept everything. Suddenly, Abraham was like most people are today. It's like their vision was gone. Dreams and plan and all that they intended to do. To them, they already seen December instead of October and September. But God appeared to him and said to him, Abraham, 13 verse 14. Return back to the vision. Lift up your eyes from where you are. From the, look to the east, west, north and south. We have been reading this every time, but have you got the revelation behind it? From where you are, which means there is somebody I'm talking to today. It does not matter what has happened this year. From where you are now, refuse to give up. Refuse to lose hope. Refuse to be discouraged. Refuse to approach the future with fear. You are not to be pitied. You are to be envied. All you need is to return to what? 
to your vision. As you see in your heart. As you are thinking, what's on your thought? What's your mind now? You can't rise higher than your thought. The greatest limitation in, people's, in people is their thought. And your thought has eyes. That's why right where you're sitting, you can be seeing your house. As you're thinking now, you can be seeing yourself either, either driving limousine or cage in a prison. It depends on what you want to see. That is vision. What are you saying? Listen to this. Every man is the architect of their fortune or misfortune. You decide how far you want to go. Then God will give you the energy to go as far as you have decided. If thou can return, you shall be built up. Your business will be built back again. Return number one to the almighty. Number two, return to the virtues that makes men great. Life is not luck. It's not wish. It's not, it's not, it's not, it's not luck. It's not wish. No, it is a deliberate step you take. You take responsibility. As you live here today, if you are not, if you lost your job, you're among those who lost their job, you only lost your job, not your life. A living lion is better than a dead dog. And you are in the lion family. Anything can happen.